What's up, everybody? What the fuck is going on? Welcome back to Cooking with Bird Martinez. The one, the only Bird motherfucking Martinez, bitch. Say it louder for the bitches in the back. All the bitches in the back. All the fucking puta sucias in the way back. All the fucking puta sucias in the way back, 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 back. So, how are you guys? I hope you're doing good in the motherfucking neighborhood. I hope you're not having any motherfucking drama with your motherfucking mama. Hopefully these motherfuckers gonna come in here. Cause I started this video like five minutes ago. And the fucking guy came in here and he's like, Erica, are you okay? I'm like, bitch, I'm okay. I'm just screaming, you know what I'm saying? And if you see me with my big ass pimple, with no makeup, it's because you know what I'm saying? I'm taking care of myself. You know, tomorrow's my birthday. I'm going to be 35 with a bullet. I know I said I was going to turn 34 because I skipped my birthday yesterday. But let's let's keep it real. Let's keep it 100. I'm going to be 35 and I feel good. I feel special. I feel like, thank you, God. Me diste otro año de vida. Vámonos y a bailar y a zapatear. You know, there's a guy next door. Um, He's very, I'm not going to say names because last time I got in trouble. But he's he had a como se dice a traumatic brain injury and he's like blind and he's not there you know what i'm saying but i try to talk to him I'm like what's up boo? like como estas compa because he's from sinaloa and you know people from sinaloa and people from michoacan we like to zapatear we like to be like oh <laughs> we like to do all of that we have it in our blood they like runs through her blood like pinche tambora la pinche musica perrona you know but anyways um his wife showed me a video before his injury and that motherfucker danced zapateado like like there was no other day coming in his like it was the last day of his life and that's how i i was before my injury you know and i still am like that because i'm not gonna let no thing chicken wing change me the night before everything happened i was down in east l.a and I was twerking on this pole and it was like a sign. We went into all the little bodegas. Well, we don't call them bodegas over here. We call them marquetas. You know, the mom and pops where they sell all the fucking little stuff like leche, pan, and all that good stuff. And I have the last picture that I took before and it says the night of the day and it says everything. And I was like, I'm so happy, you know, I'm so happy that I was just living my best life. And that's how I feel you guys should live your best life. Even if you can't move, even if you can't groove, at least be positive. Por una mamada, you know, only because somebody's not doing something right. Don't get so fucking agitated. It's not their fault que son medios pendejos, you know. It's not their fault que son medios güeyes. Así nacieron, así son, no van a cambiar. Some people just don't like to change. You know, I went to my, um, I went to go visit my father-in-law for his birthday because you guys know that I'm very close to him. Uh, Dios mío, Dios mío, la vida es como pinche bien complicada. So I saw my mother-in-law, she was there, of course. And um, she made a little comment. And I don't want you to guys get to get on her ass or nothing. It's, it's water under the bridge because people don't change. She was like, oh, Erica, you know, you know, it was a good thing that this happened to you. Because now you have a house and now you have more followers. <laughs> so you're telling me that me waking up in pain every day me not being able to walk me not being able to cook like i used to it's okay because i have a house now i was gonna get my house we were on our way you know what i'm saying mario was fixing his credit he was fixing my credit we went to texas we were doing the meet and greets we were saving up all that money we were on our way so for her to say that, oh, you have a house now, this injury, I would give my left arm, I would give my arm, I would give my my foot to have my movement back. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I'm like, now, como, como se dice, I have uh, accepted that I'm like this, but no, it is not something good, you know? My whole family is traumatized. My mother has not been the same ever since this. I don't know where she got this idea, but I know she was just trying to fuck with me. So I didn't even say nothing. I'm not going to go off. I know I take a lot of shit, but I just went there for my father-in-law. He was so happy to see me. And I, every year, every year, I I make sure that I see him because I love him so much. 
And I know I posted a picture on Instagram and somebody said, well, why are you there where they happened to you? To me, I, you know, if I'm like, oh, I don't want to see it. Estoy bien emputada. I'm not going to move on. And I decided to move on. This is my life and this is what I do. And this is how I'm in peace. And this is why I'm getting better. Porque yo, I let shit go. And I know a lot of people, for a lot of people, it's really hard to let shit go. Pero para mí es not hard. Porque yo sé, yo sé quién soy. Soy una pinche cabrona perrona. Y ya, la vida sigue. So anyways, tomorrow's my birthday. And my freaking head decided to get a big ass pimple. And I don't know what the hell is going on there. But my skin, I got rid of the blackheads. Ooh, yes, queen. And I'm so excited to show you guys this um, trick or this remedy. So today I'm going to show you guys because I know a lot of people suffer from dandruff. And I know a lot of people like to say, oh, well, no se bañan. They're nasty. But some people really do suffer from dandruff. And it's a big thing that we don't like to talk about because it's it's like, you know, no, no nos gusta. And como se dice, so for months and months, I, they didn't shower me because my injury is right here. So they didn't want to wet my hair. And I don't know what, I know, I don't know, it's the medication. My body's changing. I don't know what it is. There's so many reasons, but the main reason, like the studies or whatever, they never found like a specific reason why this happens. So I'm going to show you guys some pictures of my dandruff or whatever the fuck ever and um show you guys the process for this um recipe all you're gonna need is some savila some aloe vera like a real one and this is why i like to live in the hood because everybody and their mama they have it in their house like i could go to the neighbor over there to the neighbor over there and i could just cut a piece but since i live over here in the bougie area right now for the, for this time for the time being i have to go to the stove and this is my video so anyways before i start the video I want to give a special shout out to Shannon Perry. Her and her family sent me, um, como se dice? They sent me a pot thing. I forgot the fucking name. They sent me an air fryer, a fucking badass air fryer and an instant pot. And I'm so excited to use them and to not get burnt thank you so much very much from the bottom of my heart and also i want to say happy birthday to melissa casorena huh she went on my birdies nest she's part of my birdies nest group on facebook and she said hey bird it's my birthday can i have a shout out and here you go yo happy birthday to you cha 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 happy birthday to you cha 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 Happy birthday, dear Melissa Castorena, huh? Happy motherfucking birthday to you. you. So here we go with the video. I wish I was back in the neighborhood so I could just go to my plant over there, but I'm not there. So I'm just looking for a fatty, fatty McFatty. You know, because the fatter it is, the better. But the bad thing is that um the fat ones are kind of long and you guys know that i drive in my wheelchair so it's gonna be poking me in the ass poking me in the ass and they got christmas stuff bitch Ooh, the pineapples i can already smell the butt holes the booty holes i wanted to get my mom some fruit too because you know she loves fruit like me and every time she goes to work she has her little thing chicken wing so i don't know maybe some platanos machos she loves cocos they have some papayas that are little not too big plantains are 50 cents and you know the sad thing right here that i found so these are like the frutas that are not good anymore but look only because one bitch is rotten doesn't mean they have to throw away all of it. Like, I'm gonna take this whole box. I'm gonna ask the guy, what can we do with this? What can we do, Scooby-Doo? Bitch, so let's get into this motherfucker. So right here, we have the aloe vera, AKA La Savila, La Milagrosa Savila, Milagrosa Poderosa y Siempre Babosa. Seriously, this right here, 
es una babosa, pero la más pinche babosa que puede existir. You know, like your fucking neighbor, la babosa. Yup, exactly like that. So anyways, this stuff right here is magical. It is straight up, like, from the fucking gods. No, from the god. ¿Cuál es god? Anyways, so you're gonna try to cut, you know, cut it thinly, like the corners. These are not my hands, by the way. These are Luce's hands. Luce is one of my favorite CNAs. But look, she is wasting a lot of product. She is just going for it and leaving so much carnita, so much sliminess. Like, see right there? She could have scraped that part off. You know, use as much product, as much stuff as you can. Don't let it go to waste. You could save it up for a burn. You could save it up for your face. You could save it up for anything. It also promotes, um, como se dice, hair growth. I'm going to do my little oils for the um, my magic potion. Because I'm going to do another one like for more problem problematic areas. I don't know. I need to fucking burp. Mm -hmm. But anyways, we can stop this now that I have started. So you scrape it or you scoop it with your um, with a spoon. But, you know, scoop it up good. Like I said, don't waste any product. See how beautiful that looks? I just love it. Mira que chulada. And always, always wear gloves. Because one time I was doing something like this. I think it was for a burn. A burn. And I, like, lick my finger, and it tastes, like, tartar. Like, no sé, pero it tastes, like, nasty. So, anyways, you're going to put it in the blender. Blend it for, like, one minute, two minutes. You know, we want it, like, poofy, like a motherfucking smoothie. And if you're up to it, take a shot of that shit. It's good for the soul. It will make you sexier from the inside and from the outside. I'm kidding. Don't take a shot. But you motherfuckers eat ass. But won't eat this. Okay, so this is the final product. La la. Mira que chulada. See how it's poofy like that? That's what we want. What we really, really want. All up in that bitch. So right here, I'm being vulnerable. Vulnerable. I'm showing my scalp. It is bad. See how I don't have like caspa? Why do I have caspa? But it's like big pieces. It's not little pieces. That's why it's kind of embarrassing. Because, like, it's not all white all over. But when it falls on my shirt, it's like a big old friggy diggy piece. And then people, they like to pick at that shit. It's kind of weird. So, anyways. So, right here, Marvelous Mandy. My beautiful Marvelous Mandy is applying the stuff. The aloe vera on my hair. You know, mostly the problem areas is always in the front. Or in the back or behind the ears. Wherever you have like eczema, cirrhosis, all that stuff, you could apply it there too. You know, it, it won't do any damage. It's natural. It's not acidic. It's just good stuff. Good for everything, like I said. Also, um, my therapist told me it's really good conditioner. So, yeah, I really recommend it because my hair is so shiny right now, bitch. Let me tell you, my hair is living. It's alive. You're going to leave it for like one or two hours. But my dumbass left it for the whole day. And right here, I'm showing my pimple. Because I was like, damn. Look at that big old bitch. That big old freaky bitch. Okay, so now I had... So you're supposed to leave the aloe vera for like two hours. But I left it the whole night. Because my dandruff is really, really bad. So this is the next day. This is how beautiful I look. <laughs> a little bit like a crackhead, a, a healthy crackhead. I've always said it. My um, cheeks wake up swollen. I look like I got some Botox or something. <laughs> I know. So this is what it looks like. It looks like you get like... It looks like you have like little trash in your hair. I have Jennifer from North Hollywood with me. Look at her, look at her. Mira que chula. <laughs> She's gonna help me take a shower. She's the best. She always makes sure my stuff is clean, mm -hmm. you know, and always takes care of me, prays for me. That's the whole thing. Every time she comes in, she gives me a, a kiss. 
But today I was awake and she's like, darn it. <laughs> I was gonna give you a kiss. But do you guys see this pimple? It's like growing from the inside of me. It is ridiculoso. Damn. But anyways, yeah, this is age. Not... Okay, motherfuckers. So I already washed my hair. And as you can see, my scalp, it is so much better. My hair is so fucking soft. Like, I wish. Also, my um, oriental therapist tell me that, uh, told me that the aloe vera is also good for when you have headaches, heat in your head, um, stress, so many things. Aloe vera is like the magic plant. That's why you should always have it in your house. In your house. So see how my scalp is so much better? The white things is, is the actual aloe vera. So I think I'm gonna have to wash my hair again because since I can't do it myself, I couldn't go deep in there. I could only tell like the CNA to like wash my hair. But I mean, they're not gonna like go in there because it's not their hair. So I'm also wearing a mask, getting ready for tomorrow. So yeah, I really recommend the aloe vera, bitch. Cause look at that shit. I know I have like, like little pieces of the other one, but it's so good. Okay, bitch. So this is the final motherfucking como se dice. Como se dice. Como se dice. Results. You know what I'm saying? I feel bella. I feel radiante. I feel natural. You know, my hair, it is just giving me motherfucking life. Look at that shit. Fucking shine for days. And they did like a little braid on the side because the, um one of the CNAs put toothpaste. Like, why do I get a pimple the day before my birthday? Like, I don't know. I don't really, really know. But I'm so like full of life right now. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing my therapy on my hands and look at that shit. They are getting better. I feel that um a lot of the a lot of the one of the biggest reasons why I feel like you get better, you whatever the fuck ever science or whatever is a positive attitude. I know I sound like a broken motherfucking como se dice? Como un pinche case que se ta, repite, 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 repite. Pero eh, si no tienes una actitud buena, si no estás así como me vale madre, güey, soy una pinche cuatraplégica hija de su puta madre y voy a ser quien voy a ser y voy a hacer lo que quiero hacer, then you're just gonna be like, hmm. And I know there's different types of people, you know, some people are stuck in bed, some people, their mind is not there, but if you have your mind, you have your soul, your corazón, then you still have the opportunity to do what you gotta do. Scooby motherfucking do. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know, like the dandruff was giving me a little bit of like, ugh. Cause you know, I'm over here, the speaking bitch of the world and I'm out talking, woo woo woo. And then I don't know where I look down at my shirt and it's a bunch of white stuff. And it's like, no girlfriend. So now that I did the treatment on my hair, I'm gonna put some mame because I feel like that mame helps it, you know, stay in place. And I was like trying to figure out why do people, why do people get dandruff? Cause I know I didn't take a shower for like four months. The reason why they didn't want to shower me. So I'm gonna, put, so I put it right here. Y esto lo va a ayudar para que se quede. And you know, cuando te bañas, massage it. Ay, wey, mi pinche pimpo, it hurts. I feel like, me puso los cuernos Mario. So a lot of the times when people get like a pimple right here or some have something sticking out, in the Mexican community, they say, oh, your husband put the horns on you. And when they put the horns on you, it means they cheated on you. So I was like, yeah, they're like, yeah, you know, Mario put the horns on you, he cheated on you. I'm like, that motherfucker kind of cheated on me because I only have one horn. He only put the tip on the bitch. He didn't finish the job. So I don't know. I don't really know no more. So nomás me lo voy a hacer así. Para que esté bien. And always make sure to braid your hair. You know, take care of yourself. Because right now, I did all this shit. And I feel like complete. I feel like better about myself. You know? 
Like, yes, I'm not wearing makeup, but I love my complexion. I love the discoloration. I love everything. I love my, you know, my high cheekbones, my Native American features. I just love myself. It's like, you're a narcissistic bitch. No, you're in love with yourself. You just gotta wake up and be like, ay, como me quiero. Me quiero un chingo y un montón, hija tu puta madre. Yeah. But anyways, talking about myself, um, I was talking about dandruff because that's the main event for this video. It says, doctors don't know yet the exact cause of um, sorbaric dermatitis and may be related to a yeast fungus called malassezia in the oil sex secretion of the skin and a regular response to immune system. It says like, like the cells multiply. I don't know what the fuck ever. Like, I really don't know. And I feel like a lot of the people we say, oh, well, you don't shower. Oh, well, you don't shower. And it's not, I feel like it's not the reason. Some of people are just like, most of my life I was blessed with like a good scalp. I never had this problem, but I always continued to using my mame, but there was a time where I didn't really shower for four months and then I started taking medications and like I'm just all unbalanced, you know? So I don't know, maybe that was one of the, the reasons. The, la caspa puede seguir al, en cualquier momento y todos los tipos de cabello en cuero cabelludo o suspensibles está demasiado excesiva del cuero cabelludo puede ser causa por la colonización, colonización de una levadura, es decir, hongo o por una condición genética desencadenada por factores. Ok, let me do that again. La caspa puede ser, tener varias causas, incluidas las siguientes. Piel irritada. Piel grasosa, piel seca, un hongo de levadura que se alimenta de los aceites del cuero cabelludo de la mayoría de los adultos. So, in translating in English, it said dandruff we have, can have a lot of causes. You know, every time I look up some shit, I look it up in Spanish. It just, it gives me more, I don't know, I feel like Spanish gives me more answers. I don't know. So it could be irritated skin, it could be oily skin, um, dry skin, it could be a fungus, or it could, and the, the fungus, it like eats the fucking oils. So it sucks up all the oils from your scalp. So then you have no fucking oils. So that's why it fucking makes your fucking scalp all fucking dry. So we're gonna fucking fix this shit. You know what I'm saying? We have to be popping, popping, muck popping. So I hope this helps a lot of you because, um, you know, we're humans. We go through shit and we got to do what we got to do. So talking about myself, on Saturday, I went with my familia to, to the house, right? And every time we get out the car, I feel so bad because Mandy, Sophia, Mario always have to get my commode I have to get my walker all my stuff and I just feel terrible because that used to be me I used to be like the one getting everything for everybody nobody ever had to do anything so I got off the truck and I told Mario let me walk by myself to my house for the first time and he's like no I have to hold you and I went like that I slapped his hand I said leave me the fuck alone you know when I get in that like you know like I just wanted to do it myself and he's like, fine. So then he told little Mario, take care of your mom. But Mario is little, little Mario is little. So he was like, oh. So he was like walking in front of me. And um, and I'm walking, when I give, I'm gonna about to give the last step to go inside. I'm going from the garage into the house. I went backwards and I hit myself hard. When I'm telling you hard, I hit myself fucking hard. Like the, like when I hit myself, I saw like a light, like, tch. and I was like, fuck, please don't die, Erica. Like it's, you know, PTSD from already going through shit. So Mario's like, Erica, Erica, Erica. Everybody comes running to me, Sophia, everybody, little Mario. 
And I'm like, I don't want to get up. I don't want to get up. I don't want to get up. I stay there for like two minutes. So then finally, I move a little bit. Bitch. When I moved a little bit, there was like a little charquito, like a little puddle of blood. And when they, when they saw that, Mandy lost her shit. She's like, mom, why do you have to be so stubborn? You know that we have to walk you. You know that we have to help you. Why would you do that? And I was like crying. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mario was like, see, I told you. Why do you, why do you have to be so estic? And, uh, como se dice? Terca. Why do you have to be so stubborn? And then Sofia's over here cleaning the blood. And then little Mario. My little Mario broke my heart. Little Mario was like, I'm sorry, mommy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't take care of you. And then he grabbed my head and then he's like, please don't die, please don't die. And I'm like, I'm not gonna die, baby. I'm here for you. I'm always gonna be here for you. So they finally get me up. They take me to the couch. And um, guess what? My braid, I was, I had two French braids. The braid was cushioning me from here. So it like saved me. I had like a little cut like this much. And um, little Mario's like, mommy, um, are you okay? You're not gonna die? Let me see, let me see. You need help? And then he said this, how many fingers? How many fingers? How many fingers? Breathe, breathe. And I was like, oh my God. And Mandy was just screaming at me. She was like my mom. She was like, da -da 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 -da. then we finally calmed down. They were checking on me every two hours to see if I was dizzy. I lost a lot of blood. Well, not like a lot of blood, but like two towels of blood. Like not the big ones, like the little ones. But my whole point is, if you're disabled, I know that it's a bitch. I know you want to be independent. It's fucking hard to go from being like doing this and doing that to like relying on people to wipe your fucking ass to fucking help you do everything. Like I'm the cooking bitch of the world. How many times have I said it? How many times have I done it? But you have to let people help you. And I know I preach and I preach and I preach, but I don't do. But that was like a wake up call and I have to like back the fuck up, think about my family. Cause if I break my head and I'm not able to be there for them, like, like this verbally and physically, and I'm just like a vegetable, then what the fuck am I gonna do? So now I'm always going to walk with somebody by my side. Starting next week here in the facility, I'm going to be on my walker. From the moment I wake up with assistance and if I'm eating, I have to wait until somebody comes and takes me back. And then that's the plan. Um, assistance therapy twice a day, three days a day, three days a week. I have to do my exercise exercises. I still have to make a video for you guys about that. I have to just get it together, bitch. I have to get it together. I know this wheelchair helps me a lot, but I need to fucking walk. And I know I'm never going to be the same. I'm never going to be the same. But it's okay because I have to fucking do whatever I got to do. Scooby motherfucking do. But yeah, that's what happened to me in the weekend. And tomorrow my birthday, bitch. Birthday, bitch. I'm going to be 35 with a bully. 35 with a bully. But anyways, thank you for the motherfucking love. Thank you for the motherfucking hate. Shout out to all my bird gang, 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 gang motherfuckers. Peace and motherfucking love. Pero pues, a seguir adelante. Te doy gracias mucho a Dios. Y a la morenita, la virgencita de Guadalupe, que ella me va a ayudar también.